Engineering in a pandemic is the latest resource from the Royal Academy of Engineering. This video guide is for teachers, but also parents, carers and guardians. And we've also got another guide that's for students to hopefully support them working through these challenges and activities. Now, of course, the pandemic and COVID-19 um, has been very much at the forefront of all of our lives and young people especially. So we developed a resource that looked at the vital role that engineers and engineering has played in helping us manage the pandemic. With every one of the resources, um, you'll, you'll receive a um, teacher guide, student guide, and a pack full of materials. So here we've got some crock leagues, a motor, battery holder, fan, um, this little chromatography paper holder, two pieces of chromatography paper, um, and two moulding sticks. Now, in order to receive all of this material, you need to be part of the Connecting STEM Teachers Network. Um, we've got teacher coordinators who lead each of the networks based all across the country. If you visit the Connecting STEM Teachers page on our resource hub, you'll be able to view the interactive map and find a teacher coordinator that is based close to you. Get in touch with them, find out about their network meeting, um, and once you attend, you will receive 20 of these student packs and student guides for your school um, as well as being invited to future meetings and finding out about other STEM opportunities that are happening both nationally and locally as well. Regardless of whether you attend a network meeting or whether you have the physical pack, um, this resource, the teacher guides, student guides, all the support sheets are available on our resource hub for free for anyone to download for free. Um, and all the challenges in this booklet can be carried out with materials that you can find either around the house and definitely at school as well, as well as all being available on Mindsets Online. So there are a number of different challenges in this booklet. You'll notice here at the top that some of them say spotlight and some of them say challenge and one says setting the scene. So the setting the scene one looks at what we mean by a pandemic, what we mean by a virus. There's a really good video, um, TED video, that looks at what the SARS-CoV-2 virus is and how it behaves. Um, so I really recommend that young people watch that. Um, just to give them a bit of a stronger understanding of what is going on um, with COVID-19. Now these um, challenges do not need to be carried out in sequence you know, so they could do challenge three and then go on challenge one and go on challenge five just whichever takes their interest and the spotlight is just to give them a bit of background information about areas that they might be interested in to do with COVID-19 and the pandemic in general. The activities in the challenges um, in this booklet bridge across several subjects and we provided some curriculum links but this is very much just a guide um, as well as the age group being given as a guide as well and activities can be either extended or broken down depending on the group that you're working with or the subject that you're teaching. Those of you that have seen our resources before will be familiar with the engineering habits of mind. However, those of you that have not, please do have a look at our video about this or read the Thinking Like an Engineer report. Now in the student guide, they'll see these as the engineering habits and we signpost them to the engineering habits quiz, which can be found on the resource hub. Now the engineering habits quiz gives them um, 30 student statements that all link to the different engineering habits, such as working successfully in a group, using ideas from one subject and another, making a plan before I start my work. They rate themselves on those different student statements and in the end it gives them their engineering habits mapped out on this spider diagram. That leads me nicely onto the STEM badges. So we want to reward learners for their commitment to STEM and we're doing this through these digital STEM badges. There are three different STEM badges that they can collect for this um, resource. One once they've completed two challenges one once they've completed four challenges, and one once they've completed seven challenges. So these digital badges all have code embedded within them, so they can use them as part of college applications, for example, and attach them to their different profiles. Um, anyone who looks at them will be able to see that it's something that's been accredited by um, and awarded to them from the Royal Academy of Engineering. The STEM badge tracker is a way for um, us to bring in the engineering habits, linking them to the different activities. Now, this is just a record sheet um, for students to mark out which engineering habits they've used for different challenges and perhaps come and show it to you at the end of their work um, so that they're, as part of their you know, evidence to you that they have been engaging with the different challenges um, and then you can um, apply for a STEM badge for them. Applying for STEM badges is super easy. You visit re.mindsetsonline.co.uk. Now, you'll need a unique code 
um, to claim their badges, which um, you'll either get because you're part of the Connecting STEM Teachers Network and you can use this to claim your, um, to actually order your packs. I'll talk, more, I'll talk a bit more about that at the end. However, if you do not have the physical pack and you're not part of the Connecting STEM Teachers Program, then please do get in touch with us and we will arrange a code to be sent to you so that you can still claim the badges for your um, students. We've also provided solutions where a challenge asks for them and ideas for further investigation. So that is the engineering in a pandemic resource. How do you get the resource and how do you get the materials with it? So um, I mentioned earlier on in this video that you need to join a Connected STEM Teachers Network. Now, once you have joined a network and you've been um, sent a unique code that you will be using to actually order your packs, you visit rae.mindsetsonline.co.uk um, you enter your unique code here. You give your the delivery address where you'd like the code, the packs to be sent to. Um, and that's it. You'll have 20 packs for you to use with your students at your school. This resource is available to download for any teacher, any person, any parent, any student um, on our resource hub as well.